Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. The latest stable version of the Firefox web browser, version 89, is now rolling out. It started rolling out yesterday on the 1st of June 2021, and I received my update this morning on the 2nd of June. Now, this also takes us from version 88 to 89 in this latest stable release. And version 89 is actually a major update and basically carries a brand new look to the Firefox web browser. And this is all due to the new Proton redesign and user interface. And the new Proton redesign basically adds new colors, tabs, icons, menus, and so on to the Firefox web browser. And is everybody going to like this new update? Only time will tell. I like the new look. I must be honest, I fiddled around a little bit after up, uh, dating, and I like the new um, simple, you know, the rounded corners, the new fresh look to the uh, Firefox web browser, which is due to the new Proton redesign. But as I mentioned, only time will tell if everybody's going to like this new Proton redesign. And another thing just to look out for is that a lot of the settings and options have been moved around a little bit. So, you know, you might have to fiddle around to get to your less used um, options if you were used to them in a certain place in the web browser. And as mentioned, the Proton redesign basically changes every part of the main user interface in Mozilla Firefox. Now, first of all, as always, if you'd like to see if you have the latest stable version, just head up to the top right to the hamburger menu, go down to help and click on about Firefox. And this will update you to the latest version, version 89.0. And then obviously you just restart the browser to apply the update. And when you first restart, you will get a new window that will pop up that hasn't been there before. And this will ask you what preferences you want to change or use. And then also gives you a couple of options for the theme. And once you have chosen your preferences and theme, then you can start your browsing session in the new version 89 of, Fire, uh, of Firefox. And then one of the new changes is it now has floating tabs. You can see the tab is a little bit detached from the main interface of the browser. And what we can do if we have a couple of tabs open, we can just move the tabs around as well. And there's also, if you are playing media, say in uh, YouTube, for example, you now have a visual indicator for your audio controls and for audio controls in the tab that is playing the audio or the media which I actually found quite handy when I was fiddling around after I updated. And then, as mentioned, the menus are a lot cleaner. So if we just right-click on the tab, you can see the drop-down fly-out menu. That's got the rounded corners. You know, the search has got rounded corners. Um, you, there used to be a little preferences with a gear icon here. This has changed to a tab with personalized. And if you click on it now, you have your most frequently used settings in the forefront. And then if you want the other settings, you know, you manage more settings, you just click on that and this will take you to the, um, the um, you know, the standard um, settings menu in Firefox, which I think is actually quite handy. And then if we go to the hamburger menu, we can see that the hamburger menu has also been, as I mentioned earlier, been decluttered and has a more simple user interface with a lot of the clutter gone. And I actually quite like this. And... Once again, it has the new Proton redesign, the rounded corners as well. And then a new um, little tab, there's a new tab option at the top here. So you can just click on that and open a new tab that has also been added to that as well, to the, drop, you know, the hamburger menu. And then when you are now browsing in a new private window, and this private browsing now has total cookie protection, and obviously, this will just help your um, your private uh, browsing session be a lot more private with the total cookie protection that is now added um, in your private browsing session. And then another little change is that media autoplay has been disabled by default in version 89. And then if you are running Firefox version 89 on Mac, you have a couple of new th um, little options. And one or two of these is that you now can um, smart zoom on your trackpad and you also have native context menus and um, that have been added to version 89 in Mozilla Firefox. Now, if we just head back 
to our help and about Firefox. If you'd like to have an in-depth look at what is new, obviously I've just covered a couple of highlights uh, in this video. You just click on what's new and this will take you to the Mozilla Firefox web browser, uh, website where you can see version 89 rolled out on the 1st of June and then you can see uh, there's um, some new features which we have said you know simplified browser chrome and toolbar less frequently used items removed to focus on the most important navigation items as we have mentioned and clear streamlined menus as we have um, uh, demonstrated in this video and there's also your yeah, updated prompts so if you have info bars panels and models have a cleaner design and clearer language and inspire tab design floating tabs as you mentioned with the rounded corners and the ability for audio controls as mentioned and also yeah fewer inter interruptions reduced number of alerts and messages so you can browse with fewer distractions and i always like that in a browser so that is quite a good thing for me personally and then if we just scroll down as mentioned here if you are running mac os and you're using version 89 of firefox you have native context menus now and they also support a dark mode and then there's a couple of bug fixes yeah which is always important and then with you know firefox it's always a lot you know quite a few security fixes that are rolled out with the version updates and yeah you can just go in depth to see what the security fixes are and that's always good you know if you're not really even interested in the new features it's always good to make sure that you're up to date um, just because of the security fixes which are very important especially if you use firefox as your main regular go-to web browser and then a couple of changes here the screenshots feature is available in the right click context menu you can also add a screenshot shortcut to your toolbar and so on so that's just an in-depth look at what's new in firefox version 89 i hope you found this video useful once again thanks for watching and i will see you in the next one